Today we're in one of the most vibrant areas in the entire city that houses some of my favorite neighborhoods in all of KC. And I'm gonna show you around at some of the new developments that are coming, as well as some of my personal favorite hidden gems and show you what exactly it's like to live right here in Midtown Kansas City. Stay tuned. So where is Midtown exactly? Well, it's sandwiched between Union Station and downtown to the north, and then the Country Club Plaza to the south. It extends all the way west to State Line where you have Volker and Valentine neighborhoods. And in the middle of it all is Westport, which is predominantly known for its nightlife and entertainment district. And then out east, well, you have Hyde Park, the South Moreland neighborhood, and the up and coming Truce Corridor where we are now. The first golf course in Kansas City and the 17th golf course in the entire United States is right here in Hyde Park. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about Midtown is the historical significance of it all. It's a blast from the past driving through these historic neighborhoods, looking at all the awesome architecture. And a lot of the homes built in this neighborhood and all throughout Midtown were constructed in the early 1900s. So what can you get as far as real estate here in Midtown? So funny story, uh, when we were moving back to Kansas City, we put in an offer on this house right over here in Hyde Park, and ultimately it didn't work out, but this house is gorgeous. It's this huge Victorian home. It's over 3,000 square feet, five bed, four bath. It has this amazing entryway and a pool. Ultimately, we couldn't work it out with the sellers, and. I'm not mad because we ended up in Brookside in a, a great house, but one of my favorite things to do here in Hyde Park is every June they have a neighborhood garage sale and it's my favorite neighborhood garage sale in all of Kansas City because you get to walk around and look at all these beautiful historic homes and the front porches and talk to the people who own them and it's like a blast from the past just walking through and seeing all these amazing beautiful Victorian Queen Anne style homes that are over a hundred years old. Many of the homes in this area are historic, but a lot of them have been beautifully maintained and renovated like this one behind me. This home is on the National and Kansas City Historic Registry. It's listed for $445,000 and I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. Let's go take a look. main reasons that I got into real estate to begin with is because I love historic homes and the first thing that always steals my heart about these particular homes is the front porch. You just don't see these on new construction in more modern homes. The ceiling here has been completely redone and you have all this room for activities. And then we have this beautiful entry door and the original doorknob, which is ugh, just breathtaking. But come on inside because I wanna show you what it looks like in here. All of the original woodwork is still intact, which is something that I absolutely love to see because a lot of times this has been painted over. And this home is four bedroom, three bath, over 3,000 square foot. That's under $150 per square foot that you're getting for something that can never be recreated again. You can't build a new home for under $200 a square foot. So on the main level, you have this formal sitting area with this magnificent fireplace. And then you have a second living area here with these beautiful pocket doors. Like these things are so heavy and they still work.
but come over here and check out the color that they decided to paint the dining room. I love when they paint a room a really dark color in these old Victorian homes, but the one thing that they've tastefully remodeled is the kitchen. You're gonna wanna take a look at this space because you have the quartz countertops, the gold hardware and faucets and sinks, which I absolutely love, but hold on, wait a second. Are you getting this? Check this out. Historic wall phone? Hold on, let me go upstairs and see if there's something. No way. Can you hear me? Gotcha. What? That's so awesome. I can't believe that this thing still works. Oh my God. Wow. Come upstairs, I'll show you the second of three floors. Up here, you're gonna have your three main bedrooms and two bathrooms that are full bathrooms. So check out this grand foyer at the top of the stairs. You have one, two, three bedrooms, which are massive. And this is where your primary suite is. I wanna show you the tile in the bathroom in the clawfoot tub. Back here, check this out. <laughs> you have a three season room off of your primary suite. And last but not least, there's a finished attic space. Let's go check it out. Watch out, these stairs are steep. They have high risers. This room is about as big as the entire footprint of the house, and it would make a great spare bedroom, an office space, an art studio, or maybe even a YouTube studio. If you're interested in this home, then shoot us an email at info at movingtokc.net for a private tour. So this is one of my favorite brunch spots in all of Kansas City. It's Billy's Grocery in Hyde Park. And the reason it's one of my favorite brunch spots is because I cut gluten about six months ago and they have the best gluten-free menu. This is gluten-free and it's the only place that I know of in all of Kansas City that you can find gluten-free donuts, cinnamon rolls, or any pastry that you want. And it's right here at Billy's Grocery. Mm. So good, man. Like, are you kidding me? And that I can enjoy the delicacies of a cinnamon roll or donut without having a tummy ache. Nice. Worth it. It's like a $6 cinnamon roll, but totally worth it. So I think Midtown is especially great if you're a young professional or if you just wanna be somewhere super walkable close to some of Kansas City's best attractions and restaurants. Some of the best food and beverage options are right here in Midtown. Out west on 39th Street, we have Meshuga Bagels. We also have Tiki's Tacos. And then there's this shaved ice place over there, Miami Ice, where you can get soft serve and then shaved ice on top of it. If you're looking for another brunch spot that has gluten in it, well, uh, Denver Biscuit Company is one of my favorite brunch spots over in Westport. And a little pro tip, they have a cinnamon roll, kind of like this, except for it's a biscuit and you can get bacon bits on top of it. And then here in Hyde Park and just east of here, we have the Truce Corridor, which is up and coming. There's a ton of development going on over there. And oddly correct is another great coffee shop that you definitely have to check out. So we're right here on Main Street and there's a ton of construction going on here because of the new streetcar expansion. And where we are right now on Main and Linwood Boulevard 
It's just west of Billy's Grocery, and they already have the tracks laid here. So it's pretty incredible to see the progress they've made so far. They actually just announced that they've completed more than 50% of the extension, which is gonna be three and a half miles extended south to the Country Club Plaza. And when you think about that in the context of what the streetcar is now, it only runs two miles. So this is gonna add 15 stops and take people all the way down to UMKC. And it's really gonna revitalize Midtown. And for me personally, it's exciting to think about what this area is gonna look like five to 10 years from now when the streetcar is completed. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Which stop are you most excited for for the upcoming streetcar expansion? So this building right up here on the corner of 31st and Main is up for sale right now because the city council of Kansas City actually blocked its demolition, which I think is really cool because it's this beautiful historic structure that adds to the character of this Midtown area and they're trying to sell it. So if you're in the market for a commercial space, shoot us an email at info at moving to KC net because there are a few buildings for sale right here on the upcoming streetcar route. One of the most exciting and biggest mixed use developments going on currently in Midtown is right behind us. This is the Park 39 development. So this building is the old Westport Junior High School, which they've converted into PlexPod, which is this co-working space where you can rent out photography booths. There's a podcasting room, a coffee bar, office spaces, conference rooms. And then just across the street is the old Westport High School, which is currently being converted into the residences at Park 39, which is converting the old high school into 138 apartments apartment units ranging from 400 to 1600 square feet. So if you're a young professional or you're just looking for a really cool building to live in, in a super walkable space, well then you're gonna wanna consider the Park 39 development. Did you know that the four shuttlecocks on the lawn of the Nelson Atkins Art Museum are the largest shuttlecocks ever constructed? They actually hold the world record for that. And this is one of the best things about living in Midtown, in my opinion, is you have world-class art museums and these great Kansas City attractions right here in your very own backyard. And the fact that this museum is free ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely insane to me. So here's your reminder to get down and spend some time at this national treasure. So there you have it, the Midtown area in a nutshell. It's one of my all time favorite places in all of Kansas City. And if you're looking to buy or sell any real estate here, be sure to shoot us an email at info at moving to kc.net and we would love to assist you. Until next time.